Here's a nice way to start off with some use for differential equations. Prove that derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Or in other words, this is saying prove that y prime is equal to itself. And if y prime is equal to itself, show me that the answer has to be e to the x, that it doesn't work for anything else. For example, the derivative of sine, does it equal sine? The derivative of the square root of x, does it equal itself? No, but actually prove it. So then you say, well, if you know that y prime is equal to itself, then we would have dy dx is equal to y. Now what we do is do something that's called separate the variables. All the stuff that has y is going to be on the left hand side. All the stuff that has x is moved to the other side. Now that you've done that, integrate. So integrate both sides. This, because it's dy over y, turns out to be the natural log of y. This is a 1 dx, so the antiderivative is an x. And then, of course, plus c. Now I need to solve for y. So exponentiate both sides. Over here we would have y equals e to the x plus c. And if c is equal to 0, this is true. Derivative of e to the x equals e to the x. So technically, we could have c as any constant, and it would also be a solution to this differential equation. So in other words, what we have is actually a more general proof that if the derivative equals itself, you're going to get the e function plus perhaps a constant. Now if I just let c equals 0, then I did prove the derivative of e to the x equals e to the x.